Hi, my name's Mongo. I'm a Foundation Year 2 doctor at Brighton and I applied to GP last Christmas. I chose to be a GP because I was in the lucky position of really liking everything a medical school and I didn't really like the thought of sub-specialising in any way. I liked the thought of being a generalist and GP seemed to me to really be the only one that still offered that in terms of the specialties. Um, I like the continuity of care that goes with the general practice. My dad was a GP in Scotland and I saw how he saw several generations of the same family. Um, and finally, and not unimportantly, I, I really passionately like medicine but at the same time I quite like the work-life balance of, that GP offers. The thought that I might actually have my weekends to myself and not have on-calls into my 50s and 60s. I was in the lucky position of thinking probably GP from day one, but at the same time I was thinking about paediatrics. So I managed to arrange a two-week placement in paediatrics as a shadowing placement just to make sure whether that was or wasn't for me and luckily decided that it wasn't as a consequence. Um, the other thing that I thought was important was to get some experience in general practice as a foundation doctor, so I made sure that I had a GP rotation as part of my second year. I never really had a plan B because I was always quite confident that GP was going to be the one for me um, but also I was taking into account that there are plenty of training posts in general practice so I was in the lucky position of not really having to entertain a plan B as well. I tried to make the most of my time in foundation by having a wide spectrum of specialties in, in terms of trying to keep things as general as possible so I made sure that I didn't do anything too super specialised that might narrow me down to one's particular field. Um, I also took full advantage of the opportunities to shadow other people so if you have any other doubts at the back of your mind about what you might like to do then it's a good opportunity to spend a couple of weeks in another specialty. Luckily there's a very good website the GP National Recruitment Office have um, and that contained all the information telling me exactly what I needed to do to be able to apply. The actual process itself comes in three parts. The first part is really a formality. It's an online application process where everybody that applies gets considered. It can cover such things as whether you have a driving license, whether you can speak English. I mean, it really is a very simple process. The second stage is an online computer-based question exercise. And the best way to approach that I found was to join a national database of questions. And there's lots that you can find online. Um, some people studied from textbooks, but really the breadth of knowledge you need for general practice made that very difficult if you're going to cover everything. Um, so I definitely recommend doing the practice questions. The final stage uh, is the most stressful stage in a way. That's an assessment day. You attend and you uh, go to four different stations and you have actors that put you through various scenarios. Um, the best way I found to prepare for that was to spend time with a colleague who was also applying. And we, it sounds pretty painful and it was, but we went through all the different role play scenarios that they'd be doing on the day. I think I was in the lucky position that I was very confident from day one that I wanted to do general practice, but I imagine that if there'd been more ambiguity and more uncertainty, I would probably take an even more opportunity to explore the different specialties available to me. My tips for success would be to get some experience as a GP, either as one of your rotations as part of your foundation years or as a two-week shadowing post. The style of consultation in GP is quite different from that you'll encounter in hospital and I think that can be a bit confusing when it comes to assessment day if you're not used to that. My next tip would be to be organised. There's a lot of documentation as well as three dates that you have to bear in mind when applying for GP and keeping track of all of that can be quite difficult. Um, I'd also suggest doing as many of the practice questions as possible, including the dreaded role play which nobody likes but will help you a lot when it comes to the assessment day. And then finally I'd say be yourself. It's easy to imagine the certain buzzwords or certain things you should say in the assessment process but really they'll see through all that and they'll just want to see that you have the right character for being a GP.